Good morning. You listen to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at Greenbuild in Los Angeles, and I'm with George Bandy, the Vice President of Sustainability with Mohawk. George, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. Last time I interviewed you, you were actually were wearing a, a different brand. You were with Interface. You've been there many years, and you've just been over here, what, three or four months, right? That's correct. I've been over for about two and a half months now, and it's been a great experience and a good opportunity for me. The show's just starting today. I get here yesterday, and I'm looking at the sponsors, and Mohawk is at the very top of the list. So Mohawk has made a major commitment probably written a nice size check to sponsor green build this year talk about why you continue to invest in this whole green building subject sure i I think that it's important for a lot of different reasons i think one it's the only place where you have uh, in-use customers a and community cre community as well as multiple other vendors in the same space in the same roof at the same time I think it gives you an opportunity to network and connect and strategize and collaborate with these specific groups in a lot of different ways. And it also allows you to be able to create a platform for you to share your message around sustainability with a large volume of people at one time. So I think that what USGBC has been able to do in terms of attracting and retaining the type of talent that they've brought into these spaces. And it's, you know, kind of created a great community of people who are actually in the trenches practicing sustainability and delivering on a lot of the processes and products Mm -hmm. as it relates to the marketplace becoming better in a lot of different ways. So as being the leading sponsor of the show, other than the brand recognition that's associated with this $8 billion flooring company, the largest in the world, what does it get you here at this show? Well, I think for us, more than what it is that we obtain is what we're going to be able to give. I think that we've created a platform for our Believe in Better message. Uh, We think that we have a new fresh look at who we are as an organization as it relates to sustainability, marketing, best-in-class product, global solution provider, and we want to give that message out and receive information back on where we should be moving and how we should be connecting and how we can do this better together collectively and try to really have an impact not just in our particular industry but to the people who actually live inside of the spaces that our industry impacts. And so we're looking to become one of those organizations that transcends just what we're able to provide as a solution. But how do we also be able to give a message of looking at things in a different way, understanding things in a different way, designing products that meet specific needs in a different way, and sharing with our customers the sustainability message at a larger level. Okay. So a little bit more substance to believe in better. That's that's something you're rolling out at the show here. That's right. So give me a few details about what that means. Sure. Believing in better is a frame of mind where we're looking at how do we actually begin to look at becoming a better organization and having an impact on other organizations in a much more significant way. So we believe that we are a better organization when we look at things differently, when we're able to provide the types of solutions that we need, when we're able to look at our R&D and our uh, innovation processes differently, when we're looking at manufacturing differently, when we're creating products that provide a different type of indoor air quality solution for customers who are struggling with those particular needs, giving off uh, red list free products inside of those spaces, being more transparent transparent with the things that we're doing. Also, organizationally believing in better. So how do we create the type of culture where everybody inside of our facilities begins to believe in better? So not just making a product for customers that make them healthier, but also providing the type of health and wellness inside of our facilities for the plant employees that are making those products where they believe in better as well, and they can transcend that information to their families locally where they feel a part of the organization. And this movement is more than about providing a solution for a client. It's also about listening to a client and understanding where that next solution needs to be and providing the types of solutions for our folks that are actually working inside of the organization and creating a culture of believing in something that's bigger than just making product. Is this a Mohawk group message, meaning focused mostly on the commercial side of the business? Yes, this is a Mohawk group message, and the group is beginning to cascade that message out. But I think it will become contagious in a lot of different ways, so I'm excited about what it has the capacity to deliver. Karen Mendelson, our new chief marketing officer, has done an incredible job in terms of helping us to understand and connecting the dots of the organization and creating a consistent platform for us to share our message with the world. Okay. Let's talk about this show for a quick second. This show peaked at about 30000 people and I remember coming to the show and there were 20 or 25 flooring companies here this year I see three major flooring companies you being the top as far as sponsorship investment so what is that telling us about this movement and about how we're looking at flooring's role 
and creating a better built environment? Well, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. I think, number one, I'd like to say that we're beating them so bad that they don't want to come up out anymore. So <laughs> that's one of the ways I like to look at it from yeah. a competitive standpoint. Right. But I also like to think that there are so many influences on making decisions around products now, not just the flooring industry, but also the furniture industry. There's a lot of different types of industry influencers that are weren't in existence before. So I think that some of the shows or some of the manufacturers have taken the perspective of, let's go to a lot of the regional shows mm -hmm. and attend those and try to have an influence in the regional shows where we're really struggling with yeah. our business. I think before, no one really understood how big the market was. And the more we begin to kind of understand how big the market is, you can become more strategic and linear in the way that you try to approach where you want to target those audiences. And so maybe LA is a good market for several of the manufacturers and they'd rather invest their money in other places. I think the other thing is that IFMA is going on at the same time this week, oh, right okay. down in San Diego. So right. there's some competitiveness going on there and there's some other shows that actually are breaching. So I think that there are a lot of different factors that actually influence that. I also think that this being an election year is probably some budgets that have been pulled back on a little bit. So a lot of the companies that would normally come They've kind of, kind of been a little bit more reserved in terms of how they approach and engage on things. You know, during this year, things start to slow down toward the end of the year. And I think that the regional shows are having a significant impact in specific areas, and so those things are all good. I think the more of this message that we can get out, the more people that can believe in better, the better we are as an organization, the better we are as an industry. And so we'll be able to have a much more significant impact. Well, that's very insightful, George. Good answer. Let me ask you one more quick question. As being the Platinum sponsor, you have some role tomorrow at the Planetary event, right? I do have a role tomorrow, and I'm excited about it. I am humbled at the opportunity to kind of share the podium with some of the people who I've grown to love and respect in the marketplace in terms of market transformation. And I want to do my part to make sure that we share who we are as an organization and how we plan on engaging at a higher level to deliver that same message and really have an impact that's significant as we look at our belief in better in a much more strategic way. All right, George, good to spend time with you. Congratulations on your new role here at Mohawk. Again, been talking to George Bandy, the Vice President of Sustainability at Mohawk, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.